So I got a overwhelming amount of people who were a little who fit to be tied, girl. Do y'all know what that means? I know I'm so country. Who were a little bit not so happy at the thought of me discontinuing my cooking videos. So I will slow down. They will continue, but they would not be at the um it won't be as much as I was doing before. I think I was doing releasing a video every week, sometimes twice a week. It will probably be once every two weeks. Now what I'm gonna be making for y'all today is something I thought off the top of my head. I saw a couple of people make this on YouTube. Sorry, I keep looking at the actual camera. I'm using my backup camera right now. I saw a couple of people make this, but I'm gonna put my own spin on it. So as far as spices goes, we have red pepper flakes, black pepper, coriander, garlic powder, onion powder, and turmeric. We have half a head of cabbage here. We have some green onions, kind of getting out of order. I have some celery, some carrots. Over here we have ginger, we have garlic, we have half an onion. We have soy sauce, chili paste, and some stir fry sauce. I'm wiping down my counters real quick, but let me tell you what I have going on in that skillet. I have the chicken that has been seasoned with the onion powder, garlic powder, and turmeric. I have some veggies going in next, the onions, the garlic, the ginger, and two sticks of celery, okay? All right, so my chicken has been going away for about 15 minutes, so now I'm going to add my veggies. As you can see there, I have a pot of carrots in the back. That's about three carrots that have been sliced up. Some sesame oil. I know this is different, changing the recipe as I'm going. Sesame oil for my uh, diced up cabbage here, or I should say chopped up cabbage. Putting in some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm going to add some soy sauce. You guys, I rarely use salt. If I do use salt, it's going to be um, pink salt. Putting the lid on, going to lower this down so that it can go away for about 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to add some stir fry sauce, about one fourth of a cup of stir fry sauce. You can add any type of sauce that you want. It doesn't have to be this particular sauce. I typically do like to make my own sauces when I'm cooking just because of the amount of sodium that's in a lot of these bottled um, sauces, but that's okay. As you can see here, my chicken is kind of sticking to the pan. All right, so what I want to do is go ahead and try to thicken this up. The best way to thicken up any type of sauce gravy is to add warm water. You don't want to add cold water because it's going to take a long time to warm back up, I should say. So adding some warm water right from the um, this <laughs> pot of carrots here. I'm going to add eyeballing it about half a cup. You may not need to do this again. You may not need to do this. About a half a cup. Um, add some water on this side of the carrot iron skillet, moving the chicken around. And I can see it's kind of sticking on the other side. Go ahead and add some more water, you guys. So now at this point, if you wanted to, you could serve these all separate because the cabbage, cabbage doesn't take long at all to cook. But what I'm going to do, because I'm greedy and lazy, I'm going to go ahead and spoon this chicken mixture on top of the cabbage, add the carrots, do a little taste, season accordingly. So, got a towel here so I don't burn my hand. So I placed the lid on and 15 minutes later, this was absolutely, let me tell you something. I wanted to slap everybody's mama within a hundred mile radius. The carrots were sweet. The cabbage, because cabbage is mostly water, we got a lot of liquid. This would be great over some rice or even by itself. So this is what it looks like plated up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.